So this is a rather charming photograph. And um, what I would like to do is, well, there's a woman on the left, try and make her blouse the same colour as the woman on the right, which I think will make the photograph a little bit more balanced. So let's go to the menu Enhance and choose Change Object Colour. And I'm going to use a quick selection tool and um, make the brush slightly bigger and drag across this blouse and try and select most of it in one sweep. Um, some of it I've included too much, so I need to um, choose Subtract and remove parts that should not be in there. So that's got rid of that little piece there. Um, this part of her neck doesn't need to be in there. Need to make the brush a little bit smaller to get right into the V, the V neck. So I'm just using the bracket key to reduce the size of the brush and get into there. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Go back to add just a little bit on the edge here. Yeah. And then we need to subtract again from this bottom corner because it's got some of the adjoining image. And then we need to bring out the arms. And the shadow area of the arms. So I think that's probably almost there. It looks quite good, that selection. I think I've got all of the the blouse now and most of the arms and watch have been excluded with the subtract brush. A little bit more of the arm there. Yeah, so that's it. Now this bit needs to come out. It's worth time taking a bit of patience over the actual selection. Yeah, that's it. Now I can click on this colour chip and select a colour. And I can actually select from the image. So I can click on this other woman's shirt and try and make it the same the same colour. Um, you can move around the, um, the area to get something pretty close. And I think that's done it actually, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty good um, in my book. Um, there's a little bit of um, colouring on the neck here and a little bit down here, which I think needs to needs to be changed. But what I can do is click OK and that will open up the advanced menu and the, um, and, and the layers panel. And what I'm going to do now is go to layer and flatten image. So we're just working now on one layer. And I'm going to just... Um, paint with a brush tool and select this skin colour. Um, choose the brush. Sorry, click, click OK to select that colour. Choose the brush. And I'm, I'm using quite a low opacity, so I can just paint over here and build it up gradually without going over the top. And as you can see, I'm just doing this carefully by brushing over it. And because of the low opacity, it builds up slightly and just gets rid of that red toning that was picked up, I think, left behind from the shirt. And that, I think that's almost unnoticeable. Um, so let's do the same here. Click on this white bit and click OK. And again, brush with the that new colour selected and just build up to get rid of that little bit of fringing there and there. See so each brush stroke just has a little bit more and we now need to do this um, part here so click on the color swatch again let's click to get the color on the image click OK and let's just fill this in gradually painting over this area which I think was part of the original blouse using the low opacity um, let you just build up slowly. I went over the edge there, so Control Z. Yeah, okay.
I think that would do it, actually. Yeah, it's not, that's not bad, actually. Um, so we have the two women uh, with their matching blouses. And that's a, a very charming photograph. That's um, the first image using the replaced colour. This next image is um, using a white T-shirt. Um, white and black are both extremes of the histogram, and so they're much more difficult to deal with. So in this um, change colour dialogue, or replace colour, change object colour dialogue, um, Adobe has given us some blend modes to use, which overcomes any problems. So again, I'm going to use the quick selection tool, make the brush a little bit bigger, and just go right over the um, the shirt. And almost straight away, it's got a perfect selection. And I went over that pretty quickly. So let's click on the color chip now. And I'm going to change it to a blue color and click OK. And as you can see, we get this kind of washed out pale blue or mauve color. And this is where the blend modes come into play. So if I change from color to multiply, I get a much better um, result. And that's the kind of color I was looking for. And we can we can make adjustments, you know, by changing the the, the, the brightness or the, the lightness of what we're looking for. I think actually changing it down gives us a much better um, a much better result and brings out some of the shadows. So I'm quite happy with that. And I will click OK and save the image. So the converse of that is changing another colour into white or black. And this is where the presets come into play. I mean, if I click on this colour chip and choose something from the colour picker you know, resembling white, it makes very little difference. I mean, it's changed his pants to a grey colour. Um, which is not what I want. So let me undo that. Sorry, close this down and, and undo that and go back to the selection. And this is where these two presets come into play. So I'm going to click on the white preset and Adobe automatically applies the color and the correct um, blending mode. And we can simply use the lightness slider to get the shade of white that we want for his pants. And I think something like that, it's got a little bit of shadow into it, it's pretty good. And um, I'm happy with that result, so I can save the save the photo. Here are a few more of my creations, which I hope you like. These include both people and objects. I hope you'll try out this new dialogue for replace object colour on your own images, and that you'll have um, fun making all different kinds of compositions. So thank you for watching this video and um, until next time it's uh, bye bye for now and um, see you again.